So let's look at our recursive definition and see if we can identify those. So can we identify the first term? Well, the first term is always given to us in the first line. n equals one is the first term and that is a five. So a one is five. And then the common ratio is, comes from the second line. You take your a sub n minus one, your previous term, and you multiply it by the common ratio and see how we're multiplying it by the one half. So our common ratio is one half. All right, we have the two pieces of information. Now let's write our explicit definition. A sub n equals the first term five times our ratio. Maybe I'll just put this one in parentheses because it's a fraction. So there's my five times the ratio raised to the n minus one power. There's an explicit definition. All right, part B. Given the explicit definition, what is the recursive definition for the geometric sequence? So again, the two things we need are the first term and the common ratio. So we just have to make sure we're familiar with the structure of each form. So when you are given an explicit, the common ratio is always the base of that exponent n minus one. So there's our common ratio. And the number out front is always the first term. So our first term is three, our common ratio is two. Now we can write a recursive definition. The recursive definition is the one that has two lines. We identify the first term in the first line. So our recursive definition is three when n equals one, that's the first term, and then the second line, how do you get any term after that? Where well, you're gonna take your common ratio two, multiply it by a sub n minus one, and this just means the previous term. So you're gonna take two times your previous term, and you're gonna follow that rule for every term after one. 